so uh, being November in uh, Tasmania, uh, there's been a lot of rain recently and uh, all the weeds are going crazy in my garden. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to have a, have a go at trying to tackle some of these weed problems and I thought I'd uh, show you how I do that. Um, let's go and have a look. So here you can see we have all these really nasty grassy weeds coming up through the mulch. Um, I have these native tussock grasses, um, daisy shrubs, um, other kinds of shrubs and, and wildflowers and so forth. But in between I have all this nasty grass coming through the mulch and I think that's because when I started this bed I just put cardboard down over the top of the grass and and then mulched over the top of the cardboard but it wasn't enough to stop the really competitive introduced grasses from coming up through the mulch um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a go at pulling some of this stuff out so how do you pull out how do you pull out a grassy weed um, first of all I tend not to use gloves unless I'm dealing with really spiky weeds um, because you can get a lot more of a tactile kind of control over the plant if you're using your fingers. Um, I'm pulling out weeds. Uh, these sorts of grassy weeds um, have a, a root system um, where, where the plant can actually re-sprout from those roots. So you want to get as much of the root as you can. But the best chance you have is of getting down to the lowest part of the plant and teasing it out. See, I actually snapped it off a bit there, so that probably wasn't 100% successful. It's just um, quite difficult to get all of it. Hence, it's an ongoing problem, and I think what I need to do is provide a lot more mulch and lay the mulch a lot more frequently. I should mention that uh, this is the, the centerpiece tree of my garden. It's called a spinning gum, Eucalyptus periniana. Uh, we planted it when it was, was about this tall. I'll show some photos of when we planted it. It's taken only three years to get to a height of about seven meters which is great and it's it's a beautiful beautiful tree the reason it's called spinning gum is because it has these these leaves which are quite um, they actually wrap around the stem you can see there uh, that's that's called a chordate leaf uh, but in the wind the leaves spin uh, like the, it's a spinning top or something and so I guess that's why it's got the name spinning gum but it's just got this beautiful silvery silvery shine uh, and yeah that's the centerpiece of my garden okay so I've been weeding for about five minutes now uh, just over that area that I was showing you before and you can see how it's starting to look a bit better I've still got a big mess over here and down here um, but also another positive sign this is the plant that I planted you can see here after I weeded all the rubbishy grass that was around it we've got uh, a new apparent individual but it's actually it will be connected underneath the soil here by a, a rhizome so from here it's going underneath the ground and popping up here and eventually this this beautiful lily will, will spread across the ground and hopefully make less work for me pulling out all these grassy weeds um, which you can see are still a big problem all through here. So some of these plants I bought at a, a nursery, a native plant nursery, and some of them I was given. Uh, a mate of mine was doing some renovating at his house and was digging up a whole heap of plants so I just took a a, um, a boot full of full of plants um, home and some of those included things that are probably a bit inappropriate for this garden 
So if you look here, I've got a fern. This this sort of fern likes to to hang out in wet forests, and we are not in a wet forest kind of microclimate here. Um, so you can see that this this fern's got it's been uh, burnt off a little bit at the leaf tips, and it's a bit yellower than it should be. Um, it's really thirsty. So one, one of the great things about gardening is uh, when you have the opportunity to, to do it with a friend uh, or to at least have some company and uh, I now have a, a little bit of company here. I've got someone over there with a scooter and then I've got another little munchkin over here hooning around on a zebra. There she goes. Nothing like a bit of insanity when you're gardening. One of the other, one of the other things I want to mention was um, it's really good to weed after there's been a bit of rain. Um, you'll find that the the root systems are a bit looser in the soil. They're not packed in tight, um, so they should come out a little bit easier. We had a collision. Wheel came off. Oh, You'll be okay. Be okay. Do you know where you are? What's your name? Beep beep. <laughs> beep, beep. You right with it? His leg's broken. <laughs> it's, his leg's broken. Okay. You hop. How is that gonna work? Hmm. Were there any, were there any other bits attached to it? Look at that, it's it's really silly. Is it working now? Mm. Did we fix it? So Dad, you can't I'm gonna show you some of my favourite things around the garden. The first one, the Cravilia. What's it called? Cravilia. Cravilia. Um you can pick one like this by the stalk. And then, can I see it? Then, like, suck it. And it tastes so delicious. What does it taste like? It tastes like honey. So, why does it have that in it? It's nectar for the bees to make. Is it bees that have it, or is it something else? What do you mean? Maybe birds? Birds? What kind, of, what kind of birds? Maybe honey eaters or something? Yep. Um, so, that one. That's it has a bug on it. And it's very cute and tiny. Where's the bug? There. I wonder if this camera will see that little bug. Can you see that bug there? Mm -hmm. Tree. This is your blossom tree, and, and what's so special about this tree? On my birthday it blossoms, and when it starts budding, that means my birthday's very, very soon. Yep. So it's should we special. should we put some photos up on the video to show people how how the tree has grown yeah. over the last few years? So it's starting to rain. We must see you tomorrow. Or we could vlog in the rain. Vlog in the rain? Do you want to vlog in the rain? Yeah, I like it. Alright, let's say goodbye. Bye! Bye! Hey, one last thing. Hmm. Look at that. What is it? Ah, oh, there's some artwork on the window. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye from us. Bye. <laughs>